Okay, welcome. I am Jake Van Ness from Graphic Precision, and today I want to talk to you about personalization in marketing, what that is, how it's used, and what it can do for your business. So what is personalization? Personalization is using demographics specifically to target a marketing campaign to specific people. So what that means is we use things like sex, location, income, education, um, marriage status, order history, a lot of other stats. And I'll, this is using a mailing list. I know I talk a lot about every door direct and using that, but this is a little bit different. This is actually using a mailing list, whether it's your own internal mailing list where you have these specific demographics or when you buy a mailing list that gives you these demographics. The demographics are what makes personalization really work because you can really target an individual. So did you know adding a person's name and full color in the direct mail can increase response by 135%. Also, emails that use personal subject lines, and I, I know we've all seen it where it has your name or your business name, that adds 26% more likely that you're going to open it up. And then marketing campaigns that use both a direct mail system and a digital experience is over 100% response rate. So I want you to take a look at these designs and think about what do you think is the personalization on these designs. So I'll give you a couple seconds to look them over, kind of try to decide what you think the areas of personalization are. So, all right, let's look at what is specifically personalized. On the one that was to Brittany, we had her name, a specific website that was specifically set up for her, a landing page that was set up for her. We use the female business person as the image in the background. So that's three points just on the front. On the back, again, we have her name. We have a personalized message that was sent to her. We have the offer, and then the suggestions were also specific to her and the address. I do want to point out, if you look at the offer, her offer was 25% off for the first order. Jason's is 10% off the next order. So that was even a specific demographic where I said, okay, Brittany's somebody who hasn't ordered from me, so I'm going to offer her something different than somebody who has ordered from me. So you can see there could be a lot of different points on a print piece that can be personalized. So how is this done? This is done through a printing process called variable data printing, also known as information printing or variable image printing. Again, talking about that male versus female background image, that's the variable image printing. And what it is, is because of technology now and digital printing, we don't have to make plates. We can actually use a digital printing machine that can change that image on the fly. And it's really cool because you can have a ton of different points to be able to have that variable printing. And that allows you to really target your customers and use their name, use images that are specific to what they're interested in. And you can do that in a variety of different ways. I have a printer that I use in Albany who has a contract with Ashley Furniture. We know they're a huge furniture company. I have seen them print 60 inch sheets that have anywhere from 20 to 25 postcards on there. And every postcard has a different image because what Ashley Furniture is doing is they're saying, okay, you came in and bought a sofa. So now we're going to target you and say, hey, do you need a dresser? Or, hey, do you need a something else in the furniture area. But the cool thing is they can print that 16 sheet with a variety of images, with a variety of text, with different offers, with different percentages off, dollars off, and it's all done on the fly. 
And this is all done through the software and the digital printing. This also can be done in digital marketing. It doesn't just have to be done in print. One of the ways is emails. We know that people can, that can personalize emails. I specifically work with MailChimp and they have a field where it says, do you wanna add the person's name? And you can do that. You can also do like AB split where you could say, okay, everybody that is a male gets the male image. Everybody that's female gets the female image. So you can do this in digital as well. And as Russ knows, you can do this as well with landing pages. So the reason there was that personalized URL was so that people would go to the landing page that was specific to them. Again, using very specific data that's their demographic. But what's really cool is when you put all of it together and you have a print piece, and then you also have the digital aspect to it. Putting all of this together, as I said earlier, gives you a 118% uh, return as far as people responding to it. Personalization works. It's not easy to set up, but I will tell you, if you have a database of customers, it can be a great way to target your customers and make sure that they respond to your offers. The way that's done is it's done with a, a what we call a CSV file, which is a comma, comma separated file. And you have data points where it's, again, going back, it says their name, their address, their phone number. Those are the typical things that you have for your customers. But it also could be the, their income level or what they've ordered from you in the past. All of that is put into an Excel sheet or a CSV file that is then fed into the system where it can grab those data points to put into the specific areas of the print piece and the digital piece. So if you're interested in targeting your customers with an innovative marketing technique that works, schedule a one-to-one -one with me. Jake Van S from Graphic Precision.